Hey guys, it's Angie, and I am still playing Cradle. Last time, uh, we collected flowers for Tabaha. We sealed them, I guess. And we spoke to Ida. And we have an objective. We need to head to the pavilion. The Gerbera Garden to look for the other pavilion. Um... Wait, should I go to the gar garden or should I just head down? I mean, I guess I need to go inside there, so I'll just take the platform and go there. I hope that's what she meant. Ne uh, Ida needs additional sources of information to recall new details from her past. Perhaps restoring her eyesight will help. Obtain the parts to help fix her eyesight. Um... I was thinking about that because um, I suspect that our character... Does it work? I suspect that our character might be one of these uglies that he's being kept outside of the city because he's quarantined. That's my suspicion. I don't... It's not based in any... He wanted to know about the look screen. When you undergo a transfer, you put your palm over the palm of your future body and look into its eyes. It's like looking into a mirror. But this part is crucial. The transfer can't happen without it. Then you're immersed into a kind of peculiar state when you see yourself from the side. On a signal, you push off with your palm and a mirror appears between you. And then you're alone again. In your new body. Huh, interesting. This r reminds me a bit of Soma. I don't know if you watched my gameplay, but I had thoughts when transferring from one body to the other. Uh, okay, so I need to go to the second pavilion. Is this a second pavilion? Like this, this one over here? I won't be able to uh, use the use the <laughs> slide again, but oh, no, wrong button. The elevator is out of order. Okay, so can I use like stairs or something? Do you have stairs? Hmm. Okay, I guess not. So we are not getting up there. So where else can I go? Maybe let's try. Can we like try getting up here and going to the right? Let's let's try. It might be risky, but why the hell not? Um And we're here. And is there an option to go? Oh, 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 oh shit. Fuck. There's full damage in here. You need to look where you're going, apparently, in this game. Um, <laughs> for a second there, I was sure that I wouldn't fall, that I, it would be like your one leg is still on the, on the platform, so you're fine. Where should I go? Maybe here, maybe this is the second pavilion. I see that here the elevator appears to be working, and this time I will be looking uh, where I'm going. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is... I, I see you. Opening. Oh, so I guess this is the right way. I won't be checking this place. No. Oh, this doesn't look very good. And I really don't like how this... How these rooms look like. Like, I don't, I don't like it at all. Is it working? I guess it's working. And I and again, I need to do this game to win I module. Okay, I'll try to be a little bit faster this time. But first time, I didn't know what to do. Collect 
30 pink cubes to obtain the look screen, hurl cubes into the unsurprising, the uprising. <laughs> Into the uprising stream, use bombs to destroy gray blocks. Apply pink cube to a red one to make the bomb explode. So red ones are bombs. Okay. So if I take you and do like this, nothing happens. Let's try again. Let's try again. I don't want to stand too close if it's going to explode. Nothing happens. Okay, let's try again. Really? Nothing happens? Oh, shit. Fuck, what? Where am I? Where the fuck am I? What? What? Oh! Oh, he locked me? In the... in the wall? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's just collect some of the pink ones here. I still have place for two and I need 30. So let's take you as well. And let's wait for this upstream. Beep, 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 beep. No, 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 no. I don't remember. What? Is he... Ate my pink cube? Am I supposed to? Maybe they meant I need to hurl pink cubes at this guy for him to explode. Let's try now. I have some pink cubes. Okay. Yep. Oh, he exploded. But do I want to waste pink cubes for that guy? Eh. Eh. Uh. Okay, I guess I need to be fast here. Because it looks like the guy is, is just changing the cubes into gray ones. Oh shit, that was close. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Woo! Okay. Oh, I don't know how many I need now. Ah! Shit! Oh no! I fell into water, and if I remember correctly, if you fall into water, you're getting penalties. Yes! But we're done! And much faster than the last time. <laughs> so, we got the eyepiece for Ida. I'm not sure what to think about those segments. The It's not a puzzle game, it's like a... Arcade? Alright, so we have some glasses. And the weather seems worse. This is troubling. I hope everything is okay. But does that... Oh, maybe... Maybe this means that Tabaha will come right now. Because I remember that he... I told you about the mirror between you and your former body. So... The mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its original's right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. Oh. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary, mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. I'm coming, I'm coming. But yeah, that's horrible. But again, it's... Man, this motive reminds me so much of Soma. I'm coming! 
And I have flowers for you. I'm here. This button and we are leaving. Okay, ew, you stink. Wait, wait, where do you Ugh. had to go all the way around. If you got a death wish, why would you go there? Where? Oh nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Yeah. Here you go. Atta boy. Here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. Okay. Tabaha, what do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. Okay. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? I like his voice actor. He's much better than the protagonist. I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mere transfer. Uh-huh. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, they may not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. Oh, that's an interesting. Um, At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. Hmm. Maybe they were hoping that, I don't know, beautiful children with beautiful DNA and souls could uh, be used as sort of a uh, cure for a whole humanity like they would have so much condensed happiness that they could just produce much more of this uh, cure what's so special about these parts damned if i know there used to be some kind of station here a polar station they were researching something huh polar I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. Oh, um, I mean, thanks. Tabaha, I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gabera Garden, am I right? Mm-hmm. Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine. I'll look into it. Thank you. Thanks, Tabaha. All right. I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. I can feel it. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. That's rude. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. <laughs> Please, don't forget about my request. <laughs> I just saw his eye roll. <laughs> that was cool. I like his character. He's, he's, um, I like that he's constantly annoyed. <laughs> okay, but let's back, let's get back to Ida. And let's install her new eyepiece. I hope that won't reset her or anything. Oh, and there's my my bird. My bird. My bird. My boy. Hi. Oh, you're hungry again? Should I prepare some more? No, I need to change your vest, right? 
No, you still have food. But I think I should be changing your vest. Because you have your day vest and you need your night vest. But where do I have it? I threw it somewhere here. <laughs> ah, I lost it. Um, I had it somewhere. But considering that most of the stuff reset itself. Okay. I cannot interact with you. I guess I need to first talk with Ida. So, hi. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Hmm. Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Uh-huh. Got it. Oh. Did you bring what I asked? Wait. Help me understand something. I have more questions. What? Um... You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? No. Nobody even manufactured children's M-bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera Garden, they looked around 15. Okay, this is strange. Not the coziest garden imaginable. Hmm. Did you bring what I asked? Help What's the third something. question? What? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the Geno chip. My entire DNA. Uh huh. Got it. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 tell did her. You bring yes, I eyes? did. I did. The look screen as well. The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside, right behind it. Install the lens first, and then my eyes. And then your eyes. Uh huh. Okay. Ah. Let's put it here. I don't. I don't think I'll need it. Oh, whatever. That's creepy. So first this. It looks like. Oh, I'm just. <laughs> She's gonna see me, she's gonna see that I'm ugly, and she's gonna freak out. Ooh, but nice 3D effect on the face. It looks like she has a helmet. That's strange. Can I talk to her? It looks like I can... No, I didn't, didn't want to do that. Well? How's your vision? Is it working? Yes. I just... She's probably overwhelmed. What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. What happened? Did you remember something? Yes, actually, I did. I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Okay. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. Okay. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Enabish, this is not an amusement park at all. Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gerbera Garden was a clinic. Uh, okay. What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe, often fatal. But it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. Depression. <laughs> Which apparently in this world is uh, deadly. I mean, it is deadly also in our wor world, but not that you explode, I guess. 
You mean the transfer was their therapy? One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They too were part of the... treatment. Hmm. Plays? What kind of plays? I... I remember this one episode. There was a vessel in front of the stage, kind of like a bathtub. It's still there. I saw it. Mm -hmm. Well, the kids would put M-body parts in it. Each one would bring their own part from the pavilion and put it into the bathtub. And as it filled up, the MC would combine all the parts into a single body. Um, so does that mean it wasn't like all the kids got their M-bodies, but like one special kid? And what happened then? And then there was a cloud of steam. The body would be quickly, imperceptibly replaced with a young woman's, and she would pick up the lead. She would fight some giant head, and then something else would happen. I can't remember all the details. Okay. And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, it appears that definitely it means that their therapy was based on very intense emotions, I would say. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else. Some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Hmm. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook or... Or what? Oh, someone's calling. What is it? My battery. It's nearly discharged. Oh, really? I thought you were, like, plugged into the... I, I don't know. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Anubis, you'll need to play with those cubes somewhere. <laughs> okay. Sure thing, Ida. I'll play. Which pavilion? A moment. Hands. Wrists. There, the fuel cell. Tenth pavilion. Um. Help me understand something. What? Oh. Uh Okay. You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Oh, maybe she is not the. Maybe she is not the original. Maybe she is like, uh, like former destroyed. copy. Destroyed. Why? Um. Not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Huh. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I mean, seriously? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. They... I don't know how to explain it. I mean, how would you react if you met another person that is basically you but has different experiences? Got it. Did you bring the battle? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, I think uh, we got the lenses, the lens, the looking glass, whatever. Now we'll have to go for the battery, but I think we'll leave it, leave that for the next time. But right now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.